Yo guys, Features Gaming here and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we are back with another episode of the Trucking Career episode 70 today and we have picked up a job as you can see and we are taking a pretty boring trailer but in real life this would be a monster of a journey like this would be literally a journey to hell and as you can see the trip distance is 38 hours so if I'm going to be completely honest, I think this is probably going to take me about three hours in real life to do. Um, I have some things to talk about at the start of the video, so we'll do that. But we are taking petrol. You know, it's, you know, not a massive, you know, trailer. But honestly, in real life, carrying petrol, literally, the trailer is effectively a bomb. If, you know, it, it, you know, in real life, petrol is effectively a bomb. If I go to the world market though, or the world map, uh, I'm actually picking up some discoverables along this route. Um, there's one over here somewhere. I'm not too sure where it is. Um, here it is. Um, I don't know if it is going to pick it up being there, but I mean, I'll go past it. If it doesn't pick it up, then it's fine. I mean, I'm not really too tight on getting these um, discoverables, to be fair. It just would be, a, you know, a little bit weird. Uh, another one that I haven't picked up is um, down here. Because if I do that, I don't think that's going to get it. So I think, you know, we'll just leave that out, to be fair. Um, where else are we dropping in? We are dropping in here. There's one there, which we can literally just, you know, go around there. Uh, I don't know what the normal routing would have been. I think it would have just, you know, taken us like down there or something like that. So just adding that in there just to pick up that discoverable. Um, there's another one down here that really wouldn't have made a difference. So, you know, we're not going to pick that up. Um, there's nothing in Prague. We've all, you know, already got the thing in Prague. Um, up here, we are picking up one in Nuremberg, just there. Uh, we have already discovered that man dealer though, the, the MAN dealer. So I don't know why we haven't discovered that yet, but we haven't even discovered that city. So I'm not too sure. It's probably, or probably the MAN is just a depot that you can get pretty, uh, probably. Um, here in Mulhouse, however you want to say it, uh, obviously going to and from, you know, both of those. And then uh, we are dropping off in Marseille. I'm not too sure if I've said that already. And we're dropping it off there. So, yeah, pretty monster of a journey um, that we've uh, got today. But let's get going anyway. Let's try and not destroy this trailer like we did last time. And I will talk about what happened in the last episode as we get on this job. The first thing is um obviously two episodes we go we ended up in i don't know actually know where we ended up but when we started the last episode we actually were back in london and i said it in the commentary um i removed the passenger mod and apparently that thought or probably the game thought that's enough to you know like say whoa a major Dead game right. thing's been just been removed we're, we're gonna have to reset you back to london and you know you're gonna have to drive a pack you know you know to where you were um so I had to do that, unfortunately, you know, yeah, that's fine. I'll just do another, Continue you know, long straight. journey. I'm planning to do a long journey anyway. So, yeah. Also, I mentioned this job is earning in £115,000. So it's a very big journey, <laughs> this. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually, you know, kind in of surprised that I got, you know, a job of this caliber and we're going to be doing it in this video. Turn left. So I've been having to think about what can we do when we have those um, those weird game change detected things so we can get back to where we were. Obviously one of the options was just to, you know, just forego with it and, you know, just go for it and, you know, just reset back to where we were. Why are our drivers earning in negative income, by the way? You guys better start, you know, earning in some income. I mean, we are, you know, our, our income is positive, but... It could be more if, you know, drivers don't earn a negative income. So that was the first option. The second option is um, to just use the console. Just teleport to, you know, back to where we were. Obviously, if it's like a major, like, game, like, change thing, then obviously where we were before may not exactly be on the map. But for, you know, some changes like 1.3, you know, no, 1.43... 
that's um, out now and I think Pro Mods is due to release um, their updated thing in a few days. Um, obviously when we get that back in so then obviously then we can run on 1.43 because you know there are a few you know okay updates uh, on that and also, also I just want to be running the latest version obviously then we will have to teleport back to London so I think when that happens wherever Turn we right. end up you know when that you know when that comes up which is probably going to be in Marseille because I don't think I'm going to be recording another video until the you know until pro mods releases their update um i'll just teleport back to marseille you know if we get back to london you know where we were you know where we end off this episode which is probably going to be in that depot so that's a way i thought of you know just like thinking well if we get teleported back to london because we were removed or added a mod i'll just teleport back to where i was um and obviously just tell you guys you know if i have you know added anything or something like that so that is one way of removing it, uh, you know, one way of, of uh, you know, getting out of that situation. I'm just going to go this way because that car is just doing my head in. I can actually see down that road, right? I think it's, um, why are you there? All right, I'm just going to get going. Yeah, I will talk about this in a minute. <laughs> okay. Um, or actually, we'll just talk about it now. Basically, we had a few issues, let's say, in, um, in the last episode. Uh, one of them being when we were going through customs at the Channel Tunnel. Um, you may not have seen this because, you know, obviously that speed up was timed up. I think it was like 11.4 times speed in the end. So it was sped up really quickly. Uh, you know, like that's 11.4 times the original speed. So, yeah. <laughs> It sped up quite a bit. That bus is going to wait for me. Because I'm, you know, effectively just forced my way out. So I was following the, the like, I, think, I think it was like a dump truck or some sort of truck in front of me. Or if, or mainly a van. Uh, I, was follow, I was following them in front and I saw them start to slow down. And then there was a truck on the left hand lane. That um, was obviously continuing on the same thing. So... I didn't know what it was at the time, so I quickly made the decision to move over to the left lane. Uh, and then when I went over to the left lane and then looked, you know, forward, you know, because like I checked my left mirror, and, you know, moved and then looked forward. I, then I saw some roadworks on the right lane. So I was thinking, obviously, OK, the van is going to come into my, you know, the van is going to you know, eventually move over to the left hand lane. Now, I saw them slowing down. So I thought they were going to wait until I, you know, got past. Nope. They just decided to swerve right into me and cut me off. So that was a little bit annoying. Um, I don't know if it caused me a massive a bit of damage. I don't even think it caused me any damage, to be fair. So I just kept going on my way um, because, you know, well, you know, I wasn't going to restart it, was I? Um, you know, just kept going because, you know, even, you know, even if it was, you know, a massive amount of damage, I would have just kept going anyway. So I did that and that was all good the next thing that happened is obviously you know we had some rain in that episode as well um and this might have been seen on the speed up um i did unfortunately when i was going to turn i unfortunately understeered round the corner and into a wall so that got me a bit of damage both on the truck and probably a bit on the goods because you did have a little bit of damage on the goods um but also the traffic in latvia was just horrible like you just saw, like, back then, you know, the AI, you know, were just super slow. And honestly, I don't even think many of them know, like, what a truck is, <laughs> you know, knowing who I am. Honestly, the traffic was horrible. You know, even the, tra like, the traffic lights didn't help. Like, literally, the traffic lights for one side were off for, like, I don't know, a minute in real lifetime. And then literally they'll go green for, like, 10 seconds on our side and then just go red. Honestly... The traffic around Latvia was just horrendous. I mean, I think it's safe to say I won't be going back to Latvia, you know, anytime soon because the traffic is horrendous, especially, you know, around, you know, where we were. When we're on the motorway, it's not so bad, you know, like just driving on these country roads. It's not so bad because, you know, I'm just, you know, going a steady 50 mile an hour. If anyone wants to try and overtake me, they can do. Um, but yeah. 
But yeah, the AI were like super slow off the corners. Like literally, I was you know going to turn right, um, you know from a from a, some traffic lights. You know there was a truck in front of me, so obviously I went further on to then you know make sure that my trailer didn't cut the corner. Went round, and then literally the truck was just stopped. Effectively, that's what it looked like on my screen. The truck was just stopped and just parked it on that corner, and I was just like, "What are you doing?" And I think I got caught out two times, you know, for that. But to be fair, I should have been looking right. But to be fair, I was mainly just focusing on the road in front because obviously AI on the opposing side don't know what a truck is. And they'll just you literally, you know, just Continue sweep in and crash into you. So I had to take an avoid, you know, had to take avoiding action there. But yeah, unfortunately that happened. Um, the cars obviously have no idea what an indicator is as well. Um, you know, on the motorway when I, you know, wanted to try and, you know, move over to, you know, a different lane. AI just have no sense of what an indicator is. Uh, and just from all of those issues, the job just took longer than usual. And my tea was actually, well, not my tea, my dinner was actually, you know, nearly getting ready. You know, if, right. if I kept doing this, then, you know, in real life, like my dinner would have gone, you know, cold. I mean, then again, I could have, you know, like stopped the recording and, you know, like cut that out. But. Then, you know, obviously I want to, um, you know, then obviously you want to, um, what's the word? You know, then I have to cut that out, you know, because it'll add to the recording and then, then I have to try and, you know, work out, you know, the speed up, you know, speed as well. Because what I do for these truck and career videos is when I go to a speed up is I find a few songs, like maybe one or two. May, mostly they're three because I think nine minutes the roughly for a you know speed up of a time lapse is okay I find it you know a few songs and then what I do is I use inside Premiere Pro there's this tool there's this tool called rate stretch tool and basically what it means is I can get that tool and then if I click and drag on the end of a clip or at the beginning of a clip what it'll do is when I click on one side of the clip and I move it, that time shifts that clip. So say if I got that clip and then dragged it roughly halfway down, the whole clip would still be there. It would just be sped up two times, basically. Because normally what I'd have to do is I'd have to right click on that clip and then it's a speed slash duration. And then I basically have to just roughly work it out, you know, roughly work out how Keep quick the left. speed up is. If it's just one continuous clip, I can just activate the rate stretch tool and then just swipe that down to however long I need that clip to be. And then Premiere will automatically Keep just left. speed it up as much as it needs to, which is a really cool tool, a really handy tool. And I've used it for ages now. I started off thinking, what the hell does this tool do? With you know many tools I use on Premiere Pro, you know, I work out what the hell does this, you know, does this, all do and I use it for a few times I'm just like oh it does that and then you know I just use it you know all the time and I guarantee you when I'll be going into the speed up I'll be using it in this episode so speeding that you know like going for my dinner there wouldn't really have me you know wouldn't, wouldn't really have helped because then I would have you know have needed to have you know worked out the things and sorted it out that way um so yeah, I did get a little bit impatient just, you know, from, you know, issues with the AI and things like that. So I just decided to, you know, just, right, let's just get this done, get this over with. It's not, you know, it's not, you know, not really being my best drive, but yeah, I just did it and yeah, that happened. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. Uh, I think now we'll just keep driving get this job done continue straight i will probably need to refuel um halfway through you know going to marseille because you know it's a 1500 you know it's a 1.5 thousand mile job uh we're estimated to get there on friday so in about two days time obviously it's 36 hours to go i imagine as we go on that time that ata will drop down massively i think we can probably get there by about maybe Thursday night, I'm thinking. So about maybe 10 or so p.m. on Thursday night. 
Um, obviously, you know, as I said, it's predicting on, you know, like midnight going from Thursday to Friday. So I'll just uh, get going and I'll see you guys over at the destination ready to drop off this load with hopefully a full profit and full straight. XP after the voice navigation. So I'll see you guys over at the destination.
Okay, so we are finally at the destination. A lot longer than I anticipated. I think it's I think it's honestly taken me about four hours in real lifetime, let's be honest, of me doing this job. Um, the reason why, I think it was somewhere in Prague. Uh, I went around like twice because I missed my turn off the first time and then I did it the second time. Well, actually, first time was a detour, so then I went around and then I missed my turn off. So then I had to go around again. Um, but that happens and just more AI stupid mistakes. One of them, you know, was my fault. I did, you know, kind of cut off, you know, at a crossing, I did, you know, kind of cut off one of the, you know, the traffic. But all the others are just, yeah, just stupid AI like it always is in Euro Truck. But we've made it to the destination. I think we've got 10% damage on the trailer and a bit on the trailer. I'm not too sure on the goods. The roundabout take the third so exit. i don't think we've got any damage on the goods i have you know looking on the indication tab there's nothing saying if there is or not um take so we'll have exit. to um have a look when we go ahead and deliver the job but as you can see by our money it's we are on 108 183 000, uh pounds I, in 50 meters and again i don't know left. if we are gonna you know get the full profit from this job but if Turn we do left. then we might be able to get a couple more trucks into the you have arrived company and possibly upgrade all of the lower garages as well i'm not too sure but we'll have a look so let's go ahead and do this one i could probably actually go this way first and then going forward yeah i think if this was you know the real job this trailer probably would not be here today <laughs> it probably would not be here today but yeah that's still a very tight turn in there we're gonna need to readjust uh, we're gonna need to readjust that trailer but it's not gonna be too much of an issue we'll just pull this way slightly and then we'll just slowly back that into the the box. That should do it. Alright, so let's turn off the engine, turn the lights off, unload the trailer. It's excellent rating, so looking good. Are we gonna have anything? Oh, perfect! £115,000, no damage, that is good. Level up as well, so let's click continue. Uh, let's spend this on... You know what let's spend this on the class 8 so we actually have like a class 8 license there we go so we are on, we are on 299,000 pounds I think we'll be able to get um a couple more trucks into the uh company I don't think we'll be able to upgrade all the all of the garages so let's go to truck dealers and then obviously we want to pick Scania go there buy online fleet configurations uh, by the way, which garage is it that we need to fill out still? The one in Turku. So we'll give them left and drive, um, left and drive trucks. So we'll go ahead and do that. Buy online, fleet configurations, and I think it's that one. Left hand. So purchase, and then we go to the one in Turku. Do that, and then we'll get them another one as well. Um, at least I think this is the. Um, truck that we're giving out to um, our 
um, what's it called, our, our, our employers. Uh, anyway, let's go to a garage purchase. I think it's here. No, it isn't. It's garage manager. Sorry. So cost of upgrading small garages. It's only a hundred thousand. I think cost of upgrading to big garage. Oh no, it's 87. Okay. Hold on. So if we go to that one and upgrade that. Oh, it's the cost to upgrade it to thingy. Okay. We'll do the one in Barcelona then. So then the one in Barcelona is a big garage. And then I guess hopefully in the next episode we'll be upgrade or you know we'll be able to upgrade the one in Turku. So let's just wait for this to load up because it will take a while. You, you mean you can see the bar, you know, just slowly moving. Come on, load up. <laughs> it's just taking ages. But yeah, it's literally like dark outside. I started this recording when it was light outside, but obviously you guys can't. You know, don't, you know, don't see a face cam or whatnot. But yeah. Come on. Load up. It's never taken this long to load up before. There we go. We don't need to listen to that. <laughs> oh. Okay. There we go. Uh, so yeah, now we just need to get the one in Turku. And as I said, I think we'll do that. Um, thingy. Oh, we need to get drivers. Have I not, you know, not thought about drivers? Um, let's just double check. <laughs> you know who I'm looking for. I don't think it needs to be said every single episode. Uh, I don't think they're in here. No, all right then. I didn't think they would, uh, to be fair. So yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, hire these good drivers. All these best drivers and just put them into the company. So we'll get you and we'll get you. Put you in there. Cool. So we're now left with £4,000. Um, we did refuel as well. So we've got a bunch of fuel in the truck. We've got 11 trucks and 11 drivers in the company, which is awesome. Uh, and obviously the profit every seven days is half a million. I assume that will go up. Um, if we actually just go to driver manager, what are the profits? See, uh, Katrina is earning in minus profit. If we actually just sort by that, obviously we are at the top making loads of money. I don't know why it says player. Oh yeah, it, you know, my thing's different, is it? Isn't it? Um, but yeah, there are there are less profit. Come on, earn some big profit. Um, they're earning a beast of a profit, ten thousand pounds a day. Color is our second star driver. All of these are in London. Uh, Lily's starting to make in a profit as well. Uh, Joshua and um, obviously DJ London like uh, are starting to earn in money. Obviously, we just hired these two. So hopefully they'll make a profit and hopefully Katrina will start making a profit soon as well. But that's going to be the end of this episode of the tr of the trekking career. So if you did like it, then leave a like on this video. That'll be awesome. And thank you very much. Also, make sure to subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in the next video or stream. But until then, take care and peace out.